these volunteers were out and about in the valley meeting the homeless as part of a federally mandated point in time survey. Groups of volunteers are at Sunrise Park in Palm Springs early Tuesday morning, reaching out to the homeless staying there. It's all part of the federally mandated point in time homeless count and survey. Last year's survey counted nearly 500 homeless in the Coachella Valley. Problems, struggles, stress, what do you name it? Don't nothing change because you're homeless. You still gotta deal with stuff. I was in the process of filming a uh, street art documentary called The Art of Hustle. And I happened to run into um, this homeless man selling his artwork actually on the, kind of like on the sidewalk bench there. A thought popped in my head like, hmm, I, I think I would like to um, reach out to him and see if he'd be a part of this. Scratch, what's up buddy? Hey daddy. It's Tyson man, where you about to go? I'm going there after my home. Okay, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna come down there. Where I would find him, man, it was pretty hard to film him, um, but he was actually uh, allowed to stay at a vacant building that was owned by uh, a few business, local business owners in Palm Springs, and they let him stay there. You know, I'm, I'm a graffiti artist, a street artist, so I want to uh, get you, you know, some spray paint. You're a great artist. I saw your work. You, you know, the funny thing about magazines, your problem open, you got all the backdrop you need once you lay the color on. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> and it was close up. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm man. sick. <laughs> now, now listen, if I took it to a, a show or something, oh, you're an artist, Scratch? Yeah, Lincoln, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, so I took a magnificent amount of time to prepare to do this and it, you know what I mean it's so yeah. full of oh. shit it's pathetic <laughs> <laughs> I know you look at that <laughs> man that's crazy yeah I get closer and closer I get look at spellbound yeah looks good look at look at I got the squirrely lines and when I pushed it, I put, pump, pumped it up, you know what I mean? Yeah. About uh, less than uh, six inches away, sprayed it, and look at it, it splotched. Well, I would say Scratch's style is more so abstract art. I think that everything he creates is actually just a mashup of all the things that's going on inside his mind at the time. I know it's too busy, but you know, that's the only line of thinking that I can do that's unique and different than everybody else. Yeah. So if it catches on, I'm in. Yes, sir. And if it doesn't, because I can always revert back to simplicity and do what everybody else does. Yeah. You know what I mean? Perfection, blah, blah, blah. And, and I can do that. Yeah. But I don't want to do that. I want to do imperfection. I want to do it fucking just submerged. Mm. Just want to let your creativity just run wild. Yes, totally. Yeah. I mean, I do very little thinking in here, but I still try to balance it out. So none of that is glued down? Yeah, let's see. This ain't. That is. That ain't. That is. You know what I mean? I yeah. add, in, uh, as time goes on, uh, consequently, I, I seem to think a little bit more here or there and I change things. Yeah. It's just something that... Uh, I guess I gotta do, but you know, if it's sold the first day, then I wouldn't do it. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. That wasn't there when I came earlier, was no, it? No, no, no. Big. If I had another red one, I'd be able to. But you know, I just left it like this, and I was going, well, you know, I don't have another a red star, so I, was, and I walk by, you know, and I look at it, please. You know, it starts to grow on you. Oh, shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. You got some of your work that does that, some that you've thrown away. Yeah. That you, are, you were going to throw it away. You kind of, yeah. yeah, sometimes you got to walk away from it. Yes. And then you probably put eyes back on a, a, a later time and you see the, the beauty of it. But, 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 but hopefully, in between time, somebody buys it. Yeah. Because you've got to be good enough no matter what. Absolutely. 
to be able to see and yeah. do, go back and forth. Yeah. But the bottom line is somebody, the public, saw it, likes it. Likes you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, and that's some will be critical of it, part. and some will like it, and they'll all like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, you got to be good enough to get to that level to where you can just sell it. Mm, you're right. That's right. what we all strive for. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of different things have to line up for you yeah. in, in the realm. One. I like that. And you know what? I go into the dumpster area and I don't tell the clearance people because, I mean, you know, just yeah, I do. go in there. But I go in there, they throw away from the regular store into that dumpster. Oh, my God. A lot of nice, good stuff, huh? Oh, good stuff. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of, um... It's weird that uh, it's weird in this in, in the United States we 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 throw away a lot of things. Man. Oh God, Dan, you know what? Consume a lot. I I never thought I'd be you know what I mean. Yeah, I've been eating out of a dumpster. You know what I mean? I've done it. But I tell you, I find complete. I mean, I just tear through. I go past, but I find stuff that hasn't been touched. Mm. I mean, it's we're not really being very smart about what we throw away. You know, you're right about that. And, before, when I had money, I still didn't throw stuff away. Mm. I paid somebody to throw it away for me. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine came about. Catherine, uh, she's very unique. Very, very great sense of humor, personality, artwork was amazing. So how long have you been here in this, this particular spot? Too long? I'm about to get in trouble with the uh, Caltrans. Do, they, do the do police come by here and harass you? Any, oh, no, they don't bother me one bit. They don't bother you one bit? That's really cool. Oh, it's a mermaid. It's a mermaid? No, over there. What, what's, what's your medium? Right there. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. And what did you do that with? Is that all... Um, clay. That's all clay? It's clay and mud. Clay and mud? How long did it take you to do something like that? Uh, I've been working on it little by little. What's this face here? This is mud. Yeah, that's another one I would make here. Wow, look at that. A merman. And what do you use to carve that out? What do you use to carve that out? I love the trees around here. Oh, you just pick stuff off the trees? Oh, look at that. And so you use these, these two little ends here? Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. So what do you have right here? It's Mary. Her name's Mary? Yeah. And where do you get your where do you get your art supplies from? People just bring it. People just bring it. it? Yeah. And this is your location most of the time right here. This it's is where funny because people go out shopping for me. You don't even know who they are. They're really? out shopping for you. You know, you they come and they drop this stuff off. Like, really? That's really good. And so, do you sit here and just create your artwork? Wherever I'm at. Wherever you at, you just kind of just. And this one, this one's really cool. That is nice. Um, I had a magnifying glass, and, and if you look in her eyes, this is before it got worn down, you know, because mm. it's hard having artwork, you know, living on the street, it gets messed up pretty good. But anyway, shuffling the papers back and forth, it faded, but she's trying to touch the tear in her eye. Mm -hmm. If you look in her eyes with magnifying glass, See Jesus. Really? Wow. The reflection of Jesus. Get the hook out of here. And you did that on purpose? Yeah. I sit in the middle of the road and I, I draw in you know, while the people were going by. And um, this one guy goes, Oh my God, how much do you want for that? I said, I really don't know. <laughs> I said, I, I don't, never thought about selling anything. And uh, he goes, 20 bucks okay? I said, hell yeah. And so he gave me 20 bucks. I gave him the picture. I said, wait, I signed you real quick. Yeah. If I die, guess what? You might be rich. You know? <laughs> he goes, I said, because that's an original. Well, really? It's an original. Yeah. There's no copy. No, no copy. You know what? Being creative and doing art probably passes the time for you here, huh? Yeah. It's a good way to ignore the people around here. Yeah. Well, actually, there is no good way to ignore them. 
They wake you up anyway. <laughs> they're, fun. they're fun. No, I actually yeah, I'm having the time of my life out here. I think it's great. Get in an apartment. Why? I'm having a good time. Why spoil it? Never had a good time. Now that I'm having a good time, they want to change things. It's not bad. It's badass. I like it a lot. Now you believe in an artist. I believe you're an artist. That's how you put it. You're a test. I believe you're an artist. You're a great artist. Are you getting the little lines? So, how much did, did you make any money off your art this, uh, uh, this, 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 this year? Did you do pretty good with your art this year? Well, I, I, I'll tell you. I'm staying here, and I need, say, $20 a day to survive. Okay. You know, five minimalized alcohol, and... So, you need $15 to survive. Five minus five for your vodka is what you say. Ten minus. <laughs> That's so outrageous. <laughs> but anyway, I need to buy vodka and, and, and let me see. Let me try to equate this in its terms of popularity. Alcohol. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, I, it's got a food and alcohol are one and the same. Because essentially, if you drink alcohol, you may be providing beverages that are high in protein and you can. Go with it. Do you, food and alcohol are number one. After that, do you ever think you'll stop drinking? What did you just say? I said. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'm 66 years old, Daddy O. Long as you, uh, like the commercial says, drink responsibly. I, I don't drive. <laughs> so <laughs> I stumbled. I stand. No, I don't even stagger. Um, you well, know you I mean? know you can get a DUI from riding a bicycle. Yeah, drinking. that's and that's. Just, I won't ride a bicycle either, because man, I'd be dead in no time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? No, we don't want that, man. We got a yeah, lot more creativity but, to give the world. Yeah, how do these people ride those bicycles and they don't get hit? Through all the uh, um, heartache and different things you've been through, it seems like artwork is always creativity and artwork has always been a part of your life and has never let you down, huh? It, 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 it essentially has been a part of my life, but this is to qualify the remark. I didn't know it. Mm. I didn't, you know, I did this pastel portraitures in the clink and I picked up on it so fast, but did I come out and do it? No. Shoot myself in the noggin. So I didn't realize that the art was such a, a heavy factor in my relationship as being a human being. Yes. And now it seems kind of funny, but the more desperate and broke I get, the art seems to be able to get, jump up. Mm. Ah. One day I went to go crazy. see him and his, his ankle was like swollen maybe about three to four times. You barely walk? Yeah. What? It, uh, I don't know exactly how, but I know I was kicked. Someone kicked you? Yeah, that, was, that happened a couple of weeks ago. You got in a fight with somebody? No, nope, I didn't get in a fight. I was just sleeping and he kicked me in, 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 the, in, the, in the foot. I, I mean, I woke up and he, he was giggling hysterically. So how long this has he been hurting for? At least a week. A week? Yeah, I thought it was going to get better. Oh, shit, man. Look at that. It's so, do you want to go to the emergency room? Uh, I need an anti inflammatory, I think. Maybe some Advil or something. Yeah, because I'm looking like at this foot here. This is very swollen here. I see that versus that. Look at that. Yeah, that's not good, man. Scratch, that's not good. Look at that. Look, look at the comparative difference. I know. Yeah, that's not good, man. It could be something broken in there. I think I, I honestly think you need to go to the. Uh, that's good. Think you need to go to the doctor, man. Why you don't want to go? You don't have you don't have any insurance. I just don't like doctors. Yeah, but you know what I mean. You can't be hurt, though, brother. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
So, is that good drinking water right there? Yeah. All right. That's what? It's true to, to say there's that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Absolutely. I don't like to see you like this, Scrap. No. I'm used to seeing you moving around. I know it. Yeah, you can't. My attitude's great, but I think it's maybe a poison. You think it's a poison? I'm beginning to believe it's a, sp a spider bite. Yeah, because it keeps getting inflamed worse and worse. So you don't want to go to the, uh, you want to just yes, go? Yes, I'm going to have to go. All right. I hate to say it. So now... They were saying uh, they can't take you here without photo ID and insurance. Uh, you want to go? You want to go to the? Uh, want to go to emergency room? Look at this man. Man is hurt and can't even get any. Man is hurt. Didn't even care. That's 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 society for you. It's all about money now. We at the desert region, Palm Springs. Let's see what they say. I think they'll take this. You think they'll take this? Look at it. It's got moles. Oh, yeah. It's just falling up. And it's so painful. Watch your leg. Oh. Oh. I'm going to wheel you right over here. Just for you, Next time. All right, you good to go? Yeah. Thank you. All right, so I'm be I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go uh, to uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Staples, and then I'll come back. You where? Staples. All right. All right. All right. No, yeah. You don't have to come back. I should go. You good to go? No, but it's good. All right. It doesn't it? Aren't you blowing your mind about what it could be? No, I think you'll be fine. I know, but what it could be, it could be a spider bite. But we're gonna figure it out, it'll be fine. All right? Scratch. Scratch. <laughs> we got you pinned up, huh? What time did you get out of there yesterday? You don't remember? What did they say was wrong with you? I broke my foot. Your blood pressure? I broke my foot. You broke your foot? Mm -hmm. I gotta get some ibuprofen. They don't have any? No. They, they did shoot me up on some stuff. Did they give you crutches though? Yeah. What happened to him? They were here. Did someone take him? It seems like the crutches are uh, actually uh, missing. Um, let's see here. Where did you put him at? I was in the process of uh, going to an actual another location, and um, I looked at the corner of my eye. And I see a gentleman with uh, painting and uh, creating art on the side of the apartment complex. So why, what's your name? Will. Will. From Alabama, 34 years old. Will. Went to Robert E. Lee High School, University of Alabama. Studying theater. Theater arts. And now I'm crackhead in California, painting. <laughs> So what, this is where you paint at? I mean, this is how you... No, I got, uh, had to leave this apartment where I was staying with a friend and I just gave up and said, you know what, I'm gonna start painting here, see if I can't get rid of these guys. Really? Yeah. Wow. And this piece you're working on here, what, what, what's that piece? Planets. I don't know, planets. circles. Circles and planets. That over there is the um, Raptor and Simpsons Ascension. They started out as a landscape and then I turned it sideways and said, oh, look, there's raptors. 
Oh, that's crazy. Oh, shit. He's got a summer and winter painting. Well, I don't know what this one is yet. Well, I see the two people in there, though. I don't know I don't know the significance of that. It seems like two people walking in like this. This sea of colors and creativity and storms. I don't know. I have no clue. <laughs> Both sides. Yeah, I've been doing that just because I don't have the money for more canvas. And this was a bed. It was going to be a canvas. Get the hell out of that. That's a bed. They threw it away yesterday, and I was like, this is a lot of good wood. I'm going to paint on it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah, man. All right. This is a piece Will did for me, for Tyson, for uh, the documentary The Art of Hustle. I'm going to pay him for his work. Thank you, man. And this is uh, Will's work. A lot of people don't know that um, I had a small stint um, of being homeless and um, not maybe to an extent that um, Catherine, uh, Scratch or Will know, um, but I, I understand that because I've been there. Back here, this is a sleeping quarters. Looked like he had some, uh... oh yeah, he got wings in here, so he's probably somewhere close by. Uh, he also got his... Uh thing of vodka here. Jeez Louise. This guy's been, uh, he's been getting off his rocker here. Um, sees a thing full of vodka here. So I see, as I told you guys before, I thought he was going to stop drinking, but uh, I see he continued to drink. How long, when, you, when did you start creating that piece right there? Just about an hour ago. Hey, remember I told you uh, last week uh, I had some supplies for you. Remember I told you? Yeah, yeah. Okay, come on, I got them in the trunk. Check it out. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. Okay. Check it out. Let's put it over there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, see what's in there. <laughs> Looks fashionable. Oh, look at this. This is done by good. I owe you big time. You don't owe me, brother. This is one artist yeah. to another. Oh, no, no. This is beautiful. That's what I love about you. Yeah. <laughs> so you got uh, you got uh, acrylics. Yeah, yeah. Six pack of acrylics. And then you got your uh, color pencils. Water-based color pencils. Water-based. Yeah. Good. Pastels. Are you seriously got pastels? <laughs> hey, I already know what these. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Look. Yeah. Paint brushes. I'm gonna hook you up with some paint brushes man, and stuff. Man, you did everything. You did it. I told you I was gonna bring it for you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so I told you, yeah. I'm a man of my word. Yeah, yeah. I will bring you some supplies. I, I, you know, I, I didn't think about whether you'd, you'd come back because I just always enjoyed talking to you you know yeah, what I mean yeah and that was fun for me so the way I viewed time was let it go on this orange I don't like. and the shark yeah yeah I like that so why did you immediately pick the yellows out you got the yellow there that you contrast contrast yeah and bring it to the surface love to bring things to the surface. That should keep you for a while, those supplies, and then I'll get you some more uh, later on as we go here to keep you creatively going. <clears throat> it's easy than people think to become homeless. Um, it's, um, it's, it's humbling. It uh, builds a lot of humility in you. And at some point, it, it just makes you look at the gifts that you have from the most high that you actually cultivate them and take them very serious. It gives you a deep, deep appreciation for things. And now, so where would you sell this artwork at? Where would you sell it at? On the streets. On the streets where though? Where would like- it's Right downtown. They don't, the police don't bother you there? Say throw me in jail seven times, but they haven't messed with me for three months. Okay. Or two, three months. So right. no, how much would a piece like this go for? I sell it. 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah. I came by here yesterday and I, I seen you had these chicken in here. Is there still chicken in there? 
It's no good. Did you? You didn't eat any of it. So you didn't eat any of it. Is what you're saying. Oh, okay. Did someone buy that for you? Turn that phone off. Got it out of the trash can. It came through. You got it out of the trash can. Yeah. Too, see. Yep. Yeah, there's three of them. I just got them out. That's sometimes how I have to eat. I subscribed all my life to that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So, do you find like good stuff in trash cans? This is America. We throw away. It's incredible what they throw away in Palm Springs. So <laughs> someone just threw that whole uh, no. box of wings yeah. in the yeah. trash? Yeah, and, and, and the other one was full of uh, breasts. Really? That was uh, I got that about four days ago. Customers, don't, they don't eat the corn, the uh, the beets, and they throw away the chicken at night. And uh, you know, I've said something to one of the guys. I go, you know, if you toss some stuff out, I'm homeless. Blah blah blah. And he goes, don't worry about it. Wow. Usually I can get some stuff there because they won't take it anyway. Do you think uh, um, you being homeless and being an artist helps with some of that uh, sadness and your homelessness? Like, I think if you didn't have the artwork and you were homeless, do you think you'd be as excited and happy? I don't want to say that I would, and I don't want to say that I wouldn't because... A lot of homeless people out there don't have the ability that I possess and I try to help them, create them, and believe in them that everybody's an artist. And this is so easy to do this stuff, I could share it with them. Now the other stuff about making portraitures, that's complex, but this is beautiful, so I don't like to get cocky. Hmm. But no, I wouldn't. If I didn't have this ability, you know, I think I'd be dead. You'd be dead? Yeah. Yeah, when I was first in town, I I did uh, uh, these. I didn't paint. I just did pencil, and I took twelve to sixteen hours on a piece, and they were just intense and complicated. Yeah. Out there, it was the stuff I was doing when I was a kid, and I didn't know if anybody would like it. Yeah. And a gal bought three of them for a hundred twenty bucks at the gallery. The gallery since has gone out of business and became another gallery. But she goes, Scratch, I'm going to be selling this place. Don't you stop what you're doing. Mm. Uh, I said to myself, Self, (laughs) get faster. Get as fast as you can. Keep going and going. Sketch people. Do everything you can in this world to get fast. Immobilize, concentrate, focus, spellbinding views. Everything has to come together to be an outline. You know what I mean? You got to do it, man. It seems to be working. Is it any time that you 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 you, you get uh, uh, sad that you're homeless? Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm, I'm not sad that I'm homeless because the sense of freedom is exhilarating, as you have just spoken about. But, you know, my, my tooth fell out. I haven't showered. I drink a, a, a little bit too much, but it's just to brace myself. I get bummed about those, and I, and I have no money, and I, I just go. But I still have enough confidence in, in my ability to go out and hustle. And sometimes I say, you're selling them so cheap, Scratch, of course, they're going to buy them. But they don't look at them until somebody just comes along out of nowhere. Wow, look at that. I'm so excited. I go, back on the board again. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you think you'll be a homeless artist uh, for the rest of your life? You know, no way. But as far as this happening to me, I'd hate to wish it upon you, but I'll tell you what. I know you would find that you can do some fantastic stuff. I'm yeah. telling you the straight truth. Mm. And, and I wouldn't change anything for life. So you're saying you've been at your most creative as an artist, being homeless. Totally. Mm. 
Now I get down to myself when I'm alone and lying here and it was raining and I was freezing to death last night. So last night it did rain and you, did, oh. was that enough uh, that those up there, was I that wasn't enough? There. I was down at the corridor by Rite Aid and it swept through and got me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, I woke up. Oh, scratch. Come on, what are you doing? Jeez. So does it, is it rough to stay outside at night when it's cold? Yeah, but you know what? I'm a snow ski bum. <laughs> so it's easy for me as opposed to 117 degrees for three days straight. Mm. You know what I mean, don't yeah. you? <laughs> but I still would endure that. And I would like to have, uh, I'd like to get a house and, uh, and open it to all people. Uh, no liars, no thieves, no uh, ridiculous drug heads, none of that stuff. And they can paint. Mm. And if I get a gallery, that's just my mind thinks, and then I can have a man. Yes. I can have the best of both worlds. Yes. I've learned that just because someone's homeless doesn't mean that they don't want to strive for something better. Um, it's just that 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 moment of actually everything clicking, and you get in that opportunity and seize that opportunity. So that's the life lessons I learned: humility, um, and and share with others. It's not all about you, it's a bigger picture.